Well, we're back on the road today, and this time we brought the crew. We got three camper vans, four people, and a dog. Everything you'd need to have a good time right here in small town Ontario. So Rainer's taking us for a little walk in a place that he called, or Madison called, his stomping ground. That usually means this is where all the mayhem and ruckus went on in his life. Am I wrong? <laughs> they're, they're not even here anymore. Welcome to Alliston, Ontario. Every time you get a tour around a town by some friends or people that you know, you always try not to be that super big tourist. I couldn't help it. I'm just that tourist kind of guy. One thing about walking through small towns with lots of character that have been there for a while is you gotta pay attention to those fine little details in the architecture. Like, guys, like the little patios up top, the broken brickwork. That's what makes places have so much charm. Hey, John. Hey. I was just saying, you gotta pay attention to the fine details and all the architecture because that's what gives these places all, all the, the charm, charm. That's right? right? Yeah. This place has a lot of charm. Doesn't it? So cute. Is that what the sheep in your dreams looked like last night when you were counting sheep to go to bed? Did they all have masks on? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Good thinking, you guys. You would think that after all the videos that I've made on my channel and all the small little towns I've been to, that I'd get bored of this stuff. That it'd be like, well, here's another town. It ain't like that. Every place has their own little piece of charm and piece of character and little things that make that place so exciting to be at. I don't know, sometimes you look at them and it's like, eh, but you gotta look deeper. There's fun out there. I love running into little things like this. A wall right here, fully covered and everybody carving all sorts of things in it. Memories. I ran into a little town somewhere in Saskatchewan, I don't remember the name of it, but the entire building people had carved their names in it and some of the years that were carved on it were like way back in like the 1950s and 60s. Let's take a look at some of the things on this wall. You gotta pay attention when you walk around because everybody I was with today walked right past this wall. They never seen it before. It's all in the fine details, my friends. So, I have a question. Sorry to interrupt the shot. It's okay, no, it's good. So this is your old stomping grounds, right? Yeah. It is, yeah. Is it really love if your name isn't declared on this wall? Because there's a lot of love declared here. Michael and Dee Dee, 1966. They were together for six months right here. Michael Irwin loves Dee Dee M Maples, Mal Malples, 1966. That's good so you guys need to get with it and declare your love on this wall one of these days. Put that thing, stamp that baby in time. <laughs> I love this stuff, super awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanna introduce you guys to the star of the show. His name is Cruz the Bulldog. He is the king of the castle and yes, he gets all the girls. Our tour guides are taking us to another town. I am really loving this small town, Ontario. The farmlands out here are super fun to drive through because there's literally miles and miles and miles of just rolling hills, beautiful colors, little farms. Uh oh, I think we're ready to go. Well, since the music's getting all emotional, I'll do the same thing too. Since being in Ontario, I've learned a lot about friendship. You see, all these years I've been living in my van, it's just been me and the dog. And I like my time alone. This is the first time I've ever spent this much time with a few people before. And I kind of like it. I don't know, it kind of like creates a bit more of a bond. Okay, I'm done. All right, a little pit stop here at a place called Peacekeepers Park. And it's awesome because they have some tanks here that are white. So they're UN tanks. I've never seen a white tank before. <laughs> These things look pretty damn cool. Check those things out. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that is wild. Oh, this looks really cool. A bunch of soldiers' faces and stuff over there. 
Alright. Let's roll some music and like sometimes moments just deserve music. windows look like it little peepholes yeah. Yeah, uh, these front ones are mirrors so you can actually see them. oh that's right they got the little you can see it in there yeah. so they got that little thing down at the bottom that they can peep through well that's pretty cool I don't know if it's just the kid in me, but I don't see a damn sign anywhere that says do not climb on the tanks Damn it! Why you gotta wreck my party? Because the whole time I'm like, I just, I just want to just crawl and climb on, like just stand on top of that one right there. Here's Madison trying to wreck my party. Oh, I totally missed it too. Always taking the fun out of everything for all the kids in the world. Ah, it's the golden hash browns from Costco. <laughs> Look at that. Smoked bacon, bell peppers, and onions all in one fat bag. This is chrome style cooking. Yes. Right? Because <laughs> the rest of it is just too much work. You cut things and chop things. Forget it. Boom. Ah, uh, you can tell I'm not a cook. I don't like to cook because I don't like all the dishes. I would like a fork. Ooh, look at that. Hold this spoon. That's why sometimes when it comes to choosing the crew that you're going to travel around with, you need to make sure that you have friends that are dog lovers, friends that are beer drinkers, and always take somebody along that likes to make specialty coffee and enjoys being in the kitchen. Here's for breakfast, John. No problem. Mm, so good. No problem. Mm. Sorry to leave you all our dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I may not like to cook, and I'm the king of buying food that's already pre-made and all I gotta do is heat it up. But I damn well appreciate a good meal and I appreciate John for making us breakfast today. Thank you, bro. And I'm really sorry I didn't do ditches. As we hit the road again here, driving by more and more farms, this place is covered in it, and then all of a sudden, boom, we hit the ocean. Is that the ocean? Holy crap, look at that. We're in a little town, can you guys hear me? A little town called Tiny. And this is a lake. Thank you all so much for riding along with us on John's very first night sleeping in his van. We had a blast. All right, guys, got to go because we're starting a project on my van, which you guys will see coming up. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Hey, bye, John. Bye. I don't know about you guys. That video was short. It's sweet. And I kind of liked it. That was a good one. Hit subscribe, okay? Bye.